Hi, welcome to this video. I've created this really short video to help you understand and just look at the tapping points that I will be using in all my forthcoming free tapping videos, which will be on my blog. If you wanted to get these tapping videos delivered directly into your inbox, you can also subscribe by putting in your name and your email above on the website. Uh, this is the video just for the tapping points. If you did want to have a look at the science behind tapping as well as, as, well as a little more in-depth um, explanation about this wonderful technique, there is a separate audio track that is also available on this website. So let's begin. The first tapping point that we always begin all our tapping rounds with is known as the karate chop point which is right here and it's the soft pinky part of your hand and we gently use our fingertips and tap right here. Now, when we tap on the karate chop point, we are usually saying a statement called the setup statement. And the setup statement is verbalized three times while we focus on a physical challenge or a difficult neg negative emotion that you're experiencing. Right after that, we move on to the first point on the face and we don't really ever come back here. So the first point here is called the eyebrow point and it is the point where your eyebrow meets your nose. So it's really the starting point of your eyebrow right here on the bone. The next is side of the eye, the V-shaped bone here on the side. Then it's under the eye. If you follow the bone right across, it's right here under the eye. Under the nose, that's un in between your nose and your lip chin point which is right here in the ridge collarbone I usually make a fist here and it helps me cover the exact spot that is uh, the meridian points here so you could do the same it is where a man's bow tie would usually be you can also do this or you can use your full hand and just do that all three ways will get to you to the same effect so it's not a problem and the last one is top of the head right here center of your head, not in the front, not at the back, directly on the top at the crown point. So these are the tapping points that I'll be using in my videos. Um, the reason I say this again is because there are other EFT practitioners who might use different points, but these are the ones that I will be using. And very often I will not be actually saying eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye. I'll be just continuing with the statements. So it'll help for you to not be bothered about exactly where you're supposed to tap, as long as you follow the sequence. On the other hand, if you wanted to just keep tapping on one point while I was tapping on others, it doesn't make a difference. You can even tap on both sides of your face because the meridian points are, uh, they run on both sides of the body. The pressure of your fingertips, I would say, is as much as the pressure we have on the keypad when we are typing something. So not too much, not too little just gently tapping and we tap about six or seven times on each point before we move on to the next point. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, I really look forward to our tapping videos together. Of course, do feel free to ask me for any tapping topics that you'd like in the future so that I can create one for you. So all the best and happy tapping.